Hey guys, CP Modi here back with another video. So over the years of having keyboard backlights on my laptop, I've had everyone tell me from never use them to have them on auto power off, to have them always on because they don't really matter, and the question always bugged me. How much power does those keyboard backlights use? Are they actually noticeable and should I just not run them if I want to save some power? So the logical sort of thinking of this is, yes, they're using electricity because they are lights and obviously that is the case. But exactly how much power do they use? Is it really noticeable? And well, can you actually measure it? Today, we're going to be doing exactly that. Now for testing, I use the Dell XPS 15 9550 in power saver mode. So we're sort of reducing all background tasks that Windows 10 may be running. I also do went ahead and closed off any applications that may also to run in the background. So literally it was just the operating system as if it would have just booted up. I also too went into surfaces.msc and other various background tasks and decided disabled everything that wasn't necessary for this task. I set the screen to maximum brightness with no auto options available, so everything was just set and simple between the two different tests. I also to use the software known as Battery Bar version 3.6.6 to measure the power draw in milliwatt hours, which I then converted to standard watts, which was fairly easy to do. And I also too went ahead and had Task Manager open just to make sure nothing else was running and we were getting a clean and consistent set of numbers. So I went ahead and turned on the laptop, put it in power saver mode, unplugged the plug so I could actually get a reading and first did my test with the backlight on, which I then got an average of about 11,600 milliwatts used per hour. So approximately it was bouncing between sort of 11, high 11s, low 11s and maybe a little bit of high 10. So I sort of just rounded it to 11,600 because that was fairly simple to do. I also too, well, went ahead and ran the exact same test, but this time with the backlights off and I found a 10,000. 1500 milliwatt hours used. So just looking at those two numbers, it looks like we're using about 1.1 watts of electricity to run these lights. But what does this really mean for you, the home user, and how does it really affect your battery life? So if we go ahead and do the maths, we should get about 6.03 hours of runtime with the backlight on, or six hours, one minute and 48 seconds. If we go ahead and turn it off, we should get ourselves 6.66 hours, or six hours, 39 minutes and 36 seconds of lifespan in a perfect world. This gives us a 37 minute and 51 second difference between the lights on and off, or about 10% of battery life. However, there is a big but to this whole situation. In this, we were using very sterile conditions with nothing else running on the computer, not actually doing any tasks, and the laptop just sitting there for us to get these baseline numbers. At the end of the day, if you've got your backlight on and you're doing some typing, web browsing, got some apps open, maybe listen to music, there are literally millions of different combinations of programs and tasks running that could be using up your power. So whilst this is a very sterile condition, in the real world there's probably even less than a 1% difference between the backlight on and off just because the tasks that you are working on are so different possibly between the two different tests. But yes, at the end of the day, power is being used and well, having it off will give you better battery life. In a sterile condition where you're not actually doing anything on your laptop at all, you should see about a 10% battery life increase in, again, the perfect situation, not including anything that you're doing, and also to not including things like hardware condition and also to weather that could also to bring down the battery life. And also to a lot of new laptops, again, like the XPS 15 that we tested today, have an auto backlight off button. So only when you're typing and actually need the backlight on, will it be on. Otherwise, the rest of the time it's off, saving you some power. So at the end of the day, what should you do at home? Simply put, if you want to save power, obviously turn it off. But if you're not too concerned, leave it on. And if you have a modern laptop, just leave it on because as soon as you stop typing or doing anything, it's going to dim itself or turn it off anyway, which really renders sort of having it off useless because, well, it turns it off for you. So there we have it, a fairly simple answer to a fairly simple question, but with a whole lot of maths and numbers in there as well. Let me know what you think of backlights down below. Do you think they're handy? Do you like them? Do you not like them? And do you run them? on or off. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time for another video.